Welcome back to Sound 101. I'm Andrew from Deity Microphones, and on this episode, we're now going to try to destroy the S Mic 2. Let's get started. Well, if you've ever wondered just how strong the Deity S Mic 2 really is, I mean, we have touted it as being a flagship, very strong microphone that is all metal, all brass, no plastic in the build, capable of being used in the water and the rain. Like we've said some amazing things and we have had luckily some great YouTubers like Alan from Soundspeeds do some pretty ridiculous things with the s Mic 2. But if you've been wondering, well, okay, those are crazy YouTubers. That's what they do for the views. What does a manufacturer say about their microphone? Well, I'm about to show you. So we're gonna go back to the kitchen where we tried to destroy the WLOF Pro. And we're going to try now to destroy an s Mic 2. So we are going to be testing the s Mic 2's durability. And you may be saying to yourself, is there a bunch of trickery here? Is it a lie? Let me show you guys, this is no lie, in fact. So I'm gonna take the microphone and to show you that we're going directly into the recorder. There's no cables, nothing going off camera. I'm now gonna hit record. And this is me talking right into this shotgun and to prove it, that is me now tapping in the microphone. So you guys know exactly what this sounds like right into the recorder. So let me hit stop record and let's get the microphone dirty and wet. So we're just gonna run this around nasty water. This is like LA tap water. So it really doesn't get any grosser than this. So now we got the microphone out. You can see, oh yeah, that's, that's dripping water like crazy. And because I really don't wanna shock the recorder with 48 volts, I probably should like do, I don't know, some basic due diligence of like at least the connector. And what does that sound like to you guys right now? I can't even tell, but I can see I'm getting audio and I'm getting a lot of levels going right into this so that you guys can see whether or not I'm actually talking to you guys via this lav or this. I'll tap on the microphone again. So there you go. You can hear whether or not this sounded good and it survived. Here is the specs of this microphone. Now you'll notice the temperature spec. And that is to say, this should not work in low temperatures. So let's actually freeze it now and see whether or not this is gonna work. So let's put this in the deepest part of our little bucket, nice underwater there. Let's go put it inside the freezer. Whoa. Whoa, crap. And in a couple of hours, we will check to see whether or not that sounds anywhere close to what it should sound like from before. Well, it has been three hours. Her water has frozen solid, and we're now going to defrost our S Mic 2, plug it directly into our recorder, and hit record and show you guys what happens when you freeze your S Mic 2 in a block of ice. You know, that very reasonable thing that everyone does. I don't know how, but it somehow snowed. Uh, look at that. Can you see the snow that has like been captured? It's solid. So in order to thaw this out really quickly, we thought we'd get some salt, hot air, and just like go to town on this thing because that way you guys don't have to wait around. So let's put the salt all over it. That looks really good, nice and salty. And, uh, I guess a low cut filter for the hot air, right? Oh, wow, you can hear it. Oh, we could do some like ASMR ice. Now it stopped, of course it did. It's not melting it as fast as we thought it would. I think hot water might be the best bet. I got a, I got a microphone, um, but it's in ice. So, oh, what if we did that? You can see it coming out. Yeah, you can definitely see like we got it inside the microphone. This is, uh, this is cold. Let's see if we can snap it. Hey. I mean, it feels the same weight. I don't know if it's full of ice. I don't hear anything. Either it's still frozen, or uh, what we have is no water in the middle. And the best way I can tell is if I look through the microphone, I can tell you guys now, I'm seeing a little bit of ice here on the circuit board. And as you can see, it's dripping water. So there is definitely, 
Yeah, you can hear like some slushy sound. That's gonna be interesting. We're gonna find out. Let's give it a little bit more heat around the capsule area. So, uh, I don't know. Let's go for it. Let's, uh, let's find out. Let's just shove it right into our recorder. And as I can talk to you right now, I'm not seeing the same response levels that we really, really should. No, we're definitely frying it pretty good there. Mike, check one, two. Mike, check one, two. Mike, check one, two. I think the I think the capsule is still covered in ice. This might have been a really bad idea. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely see there's some water in there. Let's dry that out real fast. Not giving up. I'm not gonna give up. Oh yeah, just drips away. Oh yeah, that's just that's just water coming out now. Look at that. We have not let this thing dry one bit, which is really what you should do. I bet this thing still sounds like a microphone that is still wet, completely drenched, and, and probably still full of water because it's probably dripping now into our Zoom H5, so I probably should hold it like this so I don't drip water into my room. Uh, I wouldn't trust this right now. Yeah, I bet this is, yeah. Still dripping water. We should probably let this thing dry and take it back to our studio. Water resistant, yeah. Uh, waterproof, no. Put your microphone in a block of ice. I wanna do it. No, that sounds like a bad idea. Okay, so that sucked. Uh, this episode did not go anywhere like we planned. Um, I'll just show it to you. This is my microphone. I can now listen to things uh, around corners. It has been bent. Uh, pretty substantially like this is not a slight uh, curve and I'll tell you what happened here because I was using a hair dryer to warm this all up a hair dryer hits one spot very unevenly to thaw it all out and once we got it out of the ice and I'm, it's still frozen like the temperature of the metal expands and contracts with heat and because we were unevenly heating this up parts of it expanded at a faster rate than other parts and because of that you get that <laughs> it's a thing of beauty but question is does it still work i mean it didn't in the video but it was still straight in the video today it is not and uh clearly it has been completely dried out we uh remembered this time around to throw some silica gel in there oh, god this it hurts the watch but let's test it out now uh, there we go. As you can see, I have to hold it kind of funny because of the curve. But how does this sound now to you guys? Does this microphone sound like a dead microphone or does it sound like like nothing happened to it? But, you know, it, it's, it's curved. That, that, that did happen. There's no denying that. Overall, what does this sound like to you? Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you impressed? Write down in the comment section below what your thoughts are going through your head right now. Dylan, I can tell you this. We didn't bust it. Like this isn't broken. Now I've seen in Kevin's video where he drove over it with his car and I happen to own a car. You wanna go drive over this microphone? I'm down. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here in the studio and we're gonna go to the parking lot real fast because we didn't kill the microphone. It's not dead. And I feel like it wouldn't be a satisfying episode for you guys if you didn't see this thing die. So let's, let's go kill it. I should have washed my car if we were gonna do this, Dylan. I didn't know. We'll drive over the mic right now. Let's do it. Um, you should probably get further back though, so like it doesn't hurt you in case it like shoots out underneath the wheel or something. I don't know how the guys did it on YouTube. We'll just do what they did. I guess just like put it underneath my tire frame and just back up. So I'm just gonna kind of put it like right there, right? Like that's. There you go. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna go back up my car real fast. Yep. Oh boy, that sounded terrible. Uh, okay. I'm still rolling. So we'll just shove it right in and 
How does that sound for you guys? Uh, you tell us down in the comment section below. I can't even hear what this sounds like right now. I don't even know if I'm getting audio meters. I kind of saw some stuff when I plugged it in, but uh, this thing might go on a wall if this survived. Uh, this is impressive if it did work. If it didn't, this is gonna be a really, really embarrassing YouTube video for our brand. So Dylan, that's on you if this fails. That's it. I think that's gonna be a wrap for us. If you like this kind of content and you said, more of that, Andrew. Keep trying to destroy your products. We want to see what it takes to destroy a deity product. Uh, tell us down in the comment section below. If, however, you want us to go back to making tutorials about audio problems that you have, drop those problems down in that comment section below also, and we'll try to answer them on a future video. You know, I just want to say thank you. If you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button. It helps us out. Hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video like this. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Thank you for watching. We really have no idea if this sounds good at that close, do we? Like either we're gonna end up doing this whole close on this mic or this is gonna be a really embarrassing video, Dylan. I just want you to know that the pressure is 100% on you. I don't know, it probably helped. <laughs> it probably sounds fine. <laughs>